Well, South Texas is full of legends and folklore, and one such story, based on fact, is still being told more than 100 years after a faith healer named Don Pedrito Aramillo passed away. And as our Rudy Trevino reports, it's actually been 111 years to the day since he died in Falfurias, and to this day, his reported ability to heal lives on. On this serene day, just outside of the small South Texas town of Falfurias, is a tiny building surrounded by a cemetery. It is a shrine where the body of Don Pedrito Jaramillo is entombed. It is also the very location where in 1881, he settled in what was then the Olmos Ranch. Inside, the walls of the shrine covered with pictures, requests for healings, and letters of testimony. Don Pedrito was born in Mexico, and while there, he suffered an accident, hurting his nose. His granddaughter, who agreed to an interview, but not on camera, said her father told her of how Don Pedrito then, quote, ran to a nearby pool of water and stuck his nose into the mud. He stayed there for three days. The pain miraculously went away. Dolores Villarreal went on to say, that night he heard a voice in a dream telling him to use the healing powers given to him by God to help others. For the next 26 years, that is what Don Pedrito did. His faith healing prescriptions always included the first three things that came to his mind, never charging for his services. Understandably so, this happening at a time in South Texas history when there were no doctors nearby. Villarreal says of her grandfather, at first he would only treat neighbors, but soon he began visiting ranches and communities between the Nueces River and the Rio Grande. As word spread of his healing abilities, people started coming to him, hundreds a day at times. In 1907, on July 3rd, he passed away. Since then, his granddaughter says people still come and ask for healings. Dolores Villarreal says even today, there are thousands of incredible testimonials. People who are drawn to the shrine, have faith, share their stories and letters left behind. In 1971, the shrine received an historical marker. Don Pedrito's granddaughter says she still feels his presence. Rudy Trevino, 3 News.